What's going on y'all? I'm Marcus B Gaming and let's talk about the Riz Walker shotgun, how to get it and some guy roll opinions. Big thank you for clicking and for more like this, hit those sub and bell buttons. Let's go. This kinetic lightweight frame shoddy lets you move faster and have high handling. The reload speed is pretty high too. So like with most shotguns, you want to focus on range. You're probably thinking, bro, shut up and tell me if it's better than Felwinters. The answer to that is no and don't be yelling at me. But if you like lightweight shotties like the Seraph CQC, you might really like this baby. To get it, you have to progress the Iron Handed Diplomacy quest that you pick up from Saladin at the tower. You can turn in tokens for packages to him and turn in Iron Banner bounties to get other drops too. But please know that aside from dropping from the quest right now, it's bugged and not dropping anywhere else. Wait for Bungie to put out a tweet saying it's fixed before using your tokens. Now let's talk perks you might want. Rifle Barrel adds 10 range but takes 15 handling. Some people like Smoothbore which adds 15 range but it increases projectile spread. And that makes kills more inconsistent in my opinion. Smallboard comes with 7 range and stability. Corkscrew Rifling adds 5 range, stability and handling, and full choke titans projectile spread. In the mag slot, Assault Mag adds 15 stability and lets you shoot faster, and Accurized Rounds adds 10 range. In the next slot, Quick Draw still helps you switch weapons quick, Surplus Boost Handling, Reload and Stability for having abilities charged, and Eye of the Storm adds accuracy and handling as your health drops. In the last slot, Iron Reach adds 20 range for taking 30 stability. Killing Wind boosts movement speed, range and handling after kills. Unrelenting starts health regen for rapid kills, and yellow bars and guardians count for more than one. Vorpal hits bosses, vehicles, and sugar high guardians harder. Demolitionist charges grenade energy for kills and reloads when you use a nade. And Swashbuckler stacks extra damage for kills up to 5 times, and a melee kill gets you straight up to 5. For PvE, I want small bore or rifle, assault mag, surplus, and unrelenting vorpal demolitionist for a grenade build or swash. For PvP, I need rifle, accurized rounds, quick draw, and iron reach, killing wind or swashbuckler. Iron reach is my top pick in that slot, and I don't mention vorpal because you'll need two shots to kill a super. And with stasis and all the ice flying around these days, that's pretty tough but it could work for you. I hope this vid helps, and if it does, likes, shares, subs, and support helps the channel. I'm out.